Hello and welcome to Dome's PS2 Reviews. I'd like to introduce my co-host, Julian. Hey. That's the part where the, where the kids go, yay, you know? Yeah. You remember I when like, I... I like that part. Yeah. I wanted to do old grandmas, but that's not a sound effect thing on the app I'm making. We need to make one. We really do. We need to get... Okay, if you know a bunch of old ladies who please. love cheering, please, please hit us up. Please. I'm not even joking. I'll pay big money. But you know what? I'm really upset. About what? I love robbing and stealing and beating people up and getting prostitutes and going out after midnight. Yeah. But unfortunately, all that's illegal. You know what? Yeah. I may have a solution. You do? I have a game oh. where you can do all of that without going to jail. What game? It's Grand Theft Auto 3. I've heard of such a game. Have you? You can do all that without going to jail. Yeah. That's what I've heard. Yeah. As long as you don't pirate it off the internet. I don't think I'll be doing that because we have a copy right Physical here. Copy. Always get a physical copy. Wow. You know, I wonder what Michael Porter thinks of this game. Let's find out. Hey, Justin, today you're playing Grand Theft Auto 3. Now, this game is an all-time classic. And the thing is, it's most known for being the very first GTA game in that classic 3D environment. I mean, when you ask someone about GTA, even if they never played the game, they kind of have an idea of what the game looks like. This was the very first game like that. Because GTA 1 and 2 were overhead games. So this was the very first of that classic 3D environment. And what better place to take place than Liberty City, which is a take off New York City. But something kind of, you know, a bummer about this game is they actually delayed the game mainly because of September 11th. They wanted to, you know, do some changes to the game, you know, with it taking place in New York and kind of take some stuff out, which I have to say was the right call and a good choice and, and really good taste for Rockstar for them to do that. Thank you very much, Michael. Now, JT. Yes. I love robbing and stealing and going out at night and getting prostitutes. Yeah, me too. So let's go. Okay. Let's abandon this. Yeah. I mean, this is fun, but I want to go not do the real thing. I want to go do the real it's thing. Not the real thing. Do you know any prostitutes? I know several. Ooh, I was gonna say let's hit up Arlington Road, but if you know several, I mean, we, yeah, that's where you know them from. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dang it! I mean, they're not the best, not, yeah, but it'll decent. do. Yeah, they're cheap. Well, we we might as well finish this review before we go. Let's do it. You know, okay. let's take a look at some gameplay footage and check out the prostitutes in this game, and then maybe we'll show you some real ones from Arlington Road. Hopefully. Yeah. GTA 3 definitely changed the way we play games today. I mean, they just did so much with this game that had never been seen or done before. Getting in and out of cars was done in like one game that I ever played, and I think that was Driver. You could get in and out of the car without it having to load. So being able to do that in this game is insane. Getting out of the car and just shooting a gun or going into, into a gun shop, going inside places. There's just... just so crazy for this time period because a lot of the stuff you could not do and just how graphic it was just shooting people and their heads exploding this is a game parents did not like their kids playing at all and this was definitely a game as a kid i loved to play so much thank you so much for watching this review everyone man what a great game right it's fantastic such a good game definitely gonna go in the good pile but hold on what was that? Oh, that was supposed to kill you. It's a Nerf gun. Oh, dang it. I wanted to put it in the good pile. Okay, you could have just asked. You didn't have to shoot me point blank with a Nerf dart. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What is your deal, man? I didn't man? mean to do that. You've been acting out a lot lately. I'm sorry. This goes in the good pile, guys. But before, you know what? That was totally wrong of me. It was. I've been playing that game too much. Too yeah, much violence. Absolutely. Got to stay away from the violence for a while. And also straighten your That's piles. a good idea. You know what? Next game, ready to D for everyone. Eat we're going to do a we're, good game. We're redoing NFL head We're coach. not doing that. But we okay. are going to do a game everyone will love. A kid's game. and No violence. Too much violence. Too much violence. Now I see why my grandma wouldn't let me play that when I was a kid. My ear stings. I'm so sorry. 